Hi, welcome back. In this video, we're going to take a look at conjugate acid-base pairs. And this is part of the Bronsted-Lowry acid-base theory. So remember that a Bronsted-Lowry acid is something that will give a proton, it will give an H+, and a Bronsted-Lowry base is something that will accept an H+. So with acids and bases, notice there's a relationship here. Acids give away an H+, and bases accept an H+. This tells us that these two things, like the giving and taking, the giving and accepting, can't happen without each other. So acids and bases always react in pairs. They react together in pairs. An acid wouldn't be able to react if there was nothing to give away its hydrogen to. A base wouldn't react if there was nothing to take a hydrogen from. So they always happen um, together. An acid has to have something to give its hydrogen to, and the base has to have someone to take a hydrogen from. So that's the first thing to know. The second thing is we are going to take a look at a reaction and make some notes of a few things. So in this reaction we looked at in our last video, we already know that HCl is our acid and NH3 is our base. And again, we can't have one without the other. There would be no reaction at all. So because we have an acid and a base, we have our reaction taking place and NH4 plus and Cl minus are formed. So one other thing to note that is very important about conjugate base pairs is that conjugate acid base pairs only differ, they're only different from each other, they, they only differ by one proton. They only differ by one proton or by one H plus ion. So if we're looking at the reaction that we looked at the other day, HCl, let's look at that first, it's our acid. Does it differ by one proton from NH4 plus or Cl minus? Well, if we compare it to NH4 plus, it's completely different. But if we look at Cl minus, the difference between HCl and Cl minus is one proton. So that's going to be one of our conjugate acid base pairs. HCl is our acid, and Cl minus is the conjugate base. And then if we look at NH3, we can see that it differs from NH4 plus by only one proton. So NH3 is our base, and NH4 plus is our conjugate acid. And notice as well, the conjugate base pairs will always be opposite. So HCl was an acid, that means Cl minus is our conjugate base. You cannot have an acid and a conjugate acid. They will always be opposite of each other. If you're starting with an acid, you're looking for the conjugate Base. If you're starting with a base, like NH3, then you're looking for the conjugate acid. Acid-base pairs will always be together. You can't have an acid in an acid or a base in a base. One other way to look at this, which may be easier for some people, is we can break it down into many reactions. So if we look at HCl, it's going to form Cl-. And if we look at NH3 in this reaction, it's forming NH4+. Plus. And again, these two only differ from each other by one proton. And notice we have a double arrow. That means that it is a reversible reaction. So the forward reaction can occur and the reverse reaction can occur. So if we're only looking at the forward reaction, HCl loses... A hydrogen, correct? That's why I call this the acid. HCl is the acid. It's giving away, it's donating a hydrogen. But if I look at the reverse reaction going backwards, Cl minus is actually gaining a hydrogen to become HCl. And that's why I say that this is the conjugate base. 
because it's acting as a base in the reverse reaction. And same thing, let's look at NH3. If we look at the forward reaction, NH3 is becoming NH4+. Plus. It's gaining, it's accepting a hydrogen, so it's a base. If we look at the reverse reaction, NH4 plus is becoming NH3. It's giving away a hydrogen. It's releasing it. It's um, donating a hydrogen, which is why I say that NH4 plus is the conjugate acid. So if that helps you as well, it might be easier to break it down into smaller reactions. Let's look at some examples of some questions that you need to know how to answer. So um, this first one says, write the conjugate base of the following formulas. So we have H3O plus, NH3, and H2CO3. And it's telling me to write the conjugate base. Write the conjugate base. So that means that all of these are going to be acids. This is an acid, acid, acid. And remember, an acid will give an H+. Plus. And remember that acid and base conjugate pairs are only different by one proton. So if H3O plus is an acid, and to find the conjugate base, I just need to subtract one H from it. So the conjugate base here would just be H2O. I just take away one hydrogen. The conjugate base of NH3, same thing, I'm just taking away one hydrogen. And notice NH3 does not have a charge up here in the corner, it's neutral, but if I take away one H plus, that means that I now have a negative sign, so don't forget your negative here. H2CO3 is an acid, all I have to do is take away one proton, and again, this was neutral up here, but I just took away a positive, so I have to make that HCO3 minus. The next set of questions says write the conjugate acid. So now we're going to start with bases. And remember, a base is going to accept or gain an H+. Plus. A base will gain an H+, plus, so we're going to add H pluses to find the conjugate acid. So NO2 minus. All we have to do is add H at the front. We can take away the minus sign because we're adding an H plus ion there. H minus, we're again going to add an H, and it actually just becomes H2O. And then our base, CO3 minus 2, we can add 1 H, and it becomes CO3 minus, with just one minus sign there. So the main things to remember is that conjugate acid-base pairs only differ by one proton. That's the really important part, and that will help you solve um, really any equation to find your acid and base pairs. So you're just looking for the two species that are different by one proton. And if it helps you, you can break it into smaller equations like we did here. If you have any other questions, make sure and leave a comment. I'm happy to do another video if I need to with more examples. I hope this at least helps you get started and helps you understand conjugate acid-base pairs.